All right, kind of note to self, right? If you're going to send drugs in the mail, you should probably make sure that it's going to the right place. So you want to double check that address. Or triple. Alan Carter is in Columbus tonight where police are trying to find out whoever sent all of this marijuana to the wrong house. Well, if you're anything like me, you just love getting a package, especially when that package is unexpected. And that's what happened to a man in Columbus. But that excitement quickly faded away when he opened it up and saw what was inside. Um, it had actually sat there for a couple of days. And, and like I said, he wasn't expecting any, any packages. It, was, uh, it had his address on it, but uh, of course, uh, a name that he didn't recognize. Inside, they found this. Ten packages of marijuana, vacuum sealed, labeled, and ready to hit the street. 10 pounds in all. Uh, you know, it's got a street value of approximately $30,000, so it's a very large amount of, of drugs. The man turned over the pot to police. It's still unclear who initially shipped it. Lieutenant Harris then took the social media with a tongue-in-cheek lost and found post. And yeah, we're obviously having a little bit, bit of fun with it as well. Uh, Inviting the distributor to come down to headquarters and pick up their package. Not yet. It's still still back in our property room. So, uh, uh, like I said, the front desk officer will be there till 5 o'clock if somebody wants to come by and, and claim it. The post did garner some laughs and even questions about the seriousness of marijuana crimes. But police say at this scale, it's really not a joke. Someone moving $30,000 worth of, of marijuana, uh, oftentimes uh, these folks are selling other drugs as well, and, and not just marijuana. So, you know, any type, we can get uh, a large amount of drugs off the street, whether it be heroin, meth, marijuana, you know, we're certainly going to do our jobs, even though sometimes that's uh, not the most popular thing. We did try to track down the person who found the drugs, but we're told with intercepting this amount, the person did understandably have safety concerns. In Columbus, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And you know, this is not unprecedented. It's actually the third yeah. time something like this has happened just in the last couple of years in Columbus. Yeah, take a look at this. It was just last month we showed you these photos when someone mailed $14,000 worth of liquid THC to the wrong house in Columbus as well. Now, liquid THC, it is illegal here in our state. And then in January of 2017, Columbus police shared this photo with us of five and a half pounds of marijuana that was delivered to the wrong address. Now, of course, Columbus police have a sense of humor. They say if you yeah. misplaced your weed, just go ahead and give them a call. Yeah. Be happy to help you out. Yeah, is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> give you, uh, what do they call it? I've been holding it for you. <laughs>